All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. All right, I'm the brother Naba Ayasha, the Jim Mass Indianapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with this is a thirsty land. This is a dry and thirsty land. See what I'm saying? Because here in America, a.k.a. Babylon, which the real biblical name is Babylon, all you see around you is what? Dehydration, dryness. What I mean by that is spiritually. You know what I'm saying? You don't get no, uh, uh, there's nothing spiritual to hydrate you here in Babylon other than what? The scriptures and, and the, the brotherhood the videos you be seeing. The brothers out there on the highways and byways. The brothers doing sit downs like you watching right now. That's the only thing that, give, that gives you spiritual hydration. Like the uh, the, the series that Apost Apostle Ramla uh, used to do, you know, a couple years back called Spiritual Hydration. See what I'm saying? America doesn't have anything to offer you moisture or nourishment to your body. Everything around you is death. The food is death. The people is death. The, the doctrines and religion is death. Your job is death. The mentality around here is death. The atmosphere is what, death? See what I'm saying? There's nothing righteous here in Babylon beside what? These scriptures in the brotherhood. That's it. See what I'm saying? So this is uh, Psalms chapter 63, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, O Yehovah by Hashem Yahweh thou art my power. It says, Early will I seek thee. What do I mean by early will I seek thee? Before all hell break loose. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm finna get a scripture right quick. Uh, come to mind. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Remember now, thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, it said, When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. Remember the Lord why you 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 had a liberty to it, why you able and you're of an able bodied person to what? Worship, worship the Lord in truth and sincerity. Cause once you get old and you start trying to live out your bucket list, you didn't reach retirement age of what, ninety five, cause Esau keep raising a retirement age every year. So by the time you, you retire at the age of ninety five, there's no use for you anymore. You ready to just perish and die. Go on to the spirit world. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord said, remember him. Remember, what does it say? Remember uh, now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Why are you still able? Why are you still able to walk and talk and move? You know what I'm saying? Your body function correctly. Remember the Lord now before all hell break loose. Because see, these are young days too. This is early. All hell ain't broke loose yet. It's leading up to it. Yeah, it's getting a little rough out here, but all hell ain't just totally broke out yet. You still able to go to Kroger's, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and buy you something to eat. You still able to go to Wendy's and get your four for four. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all hell ain't broke loose yet. It's getting bad. Esau is passing more and more legislation out here to to shut this society and shut this economy, economy down, but it ain't just totally bad out here. It says, uh, remember now thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. See, that's early. While the evil days come not. It ain't gotten bad out here yet. So you still have time. That's why we have this grace period to get ourselves right with Yahweh by Shema Shah before he come and destroy this place. See what I'm saying? So, so going back to uh, Psalms, the 63rd chapter, it says, O Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, thou art my power, early will I seek thee. You know what I'm saying? We just pull the precept proven what's there early, before all hell break loose. It says, early will I seek thee, my soul thirsts for thee. Why? Because we're seeking after what? The water, the nourishment. Matter of fact, uh, let's see. Matter of fact, I got a precept for you. This is John 4 and 14. You know what I'm saying? 144. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Brother Thai. John, the fourth chapter, and the 14th verse. I'm going to start at verse 13. These words are written in red. 
So these are the words of who the word even called Jesus Christ. His Hebrew name is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and the Son name is Yahweh Shai, who the word even called Jesus Christ. So it says, verse, this is John 4 and 13. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, talking about the, uh, the heathen woman, the Samaritan woman at the well. She wasn't an Israelite, she was a heathen. It says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Meaning what? Of this worldly water. This, these philosophies out here in this world. These false doctrines. You know what I'm saying? You're going to drink of this water. You're going to be constantly be thirsty. Even of the water that's here in whatever uh, town or city that you in, even the water you, you drink, you still be thirsty. You could drink a big old 44-ounce monster gold cup of ice water, and guess what? You drink that, you still gonna be thirsty five minutes later, man. Why? Because there's no nutrients in, in the body, I mean, in the water. Esau stripped all the nutrients even out of the water. That's why you have bottled water. That's not even good for you. It's, it's the best or the worst, I should say, because it still got contaminants even in bottled water. See what I'm saying? It says, verse 14, here's the point. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Which is what? This truth, the knowledge which we understand of the scriptures. Remember to tell you in John, the seventh chapter, three chapters over, John 7 and 38, he that believeth on me as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow what? Rivers of living water, meaning what? always moving, always flowing. Because why? The spirit is always moving and flowing. You know what the scripture says? The spirit uh, moving like the wind. It listens wherever it goes. You know what I'm saying? Meaning what? The spirit may be over here, over there, over there, but it's still flowing. Meaning what? You can come up with a topic. Let's say I'm going to teach on this, but the spirit may have a transition into something else. Why? Because the spirit is constantly moving. Just like water is constantly moving. Water is not stagnant, but Esau makes it stagnant when he's building these dams to stop the flow of water. Well, that's how America is, Babylon. It stops the flow of your spiritual water. See what I'm saying? Because when you when you read these scriptures and watching these videos, that's the Lord giving you a cup of cold water to drink. To to what? Quench that thirst. But these people out here got cotton mouth. They got dry throat. They about to choke on their own saliva because they can't even swallow it because they throw so dry when they go into these churches, these harlot houses known as churches, when they bowing down to Hotep or Amun Ra or the Buddha or Allah or the Jesus Christ and not calling on the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai. They gonna die of what? Dehydration because their bones is not nourished. See what I'm saying? It says, uh, back in, uh, so, when it says back in Psalm 63, my soul thirsted for thee, we're trying to get what? That spiritual water that the Lord has given to us. You know what I'm saying? To where we don't be dehydrated. To, to where we don't pass out from a heat, heat stroke is why we not hydrated. See what I'm saying? It says, uh, my flesh longing for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. See what I'm saying? That's talking about what? Here in America, Babylon. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me see if I can find a precept for that. Bear with me one second. I'm going to go to Amos chapter 5. Let me see. Amos 5 and 24. Let's see. It said, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream because in this land there is no righteousness there is no sound judgment Esau has this form of judgment but it's wickedness so the Lord said let judgment run down his waters and that's what it's doing here the Lord's judgment is running down his waters that's the only what nourishment you're going to get here in Babylon is the word of Yahweh by Shem see what I'm saying that's spiritually and physically it says, uh, where it go? But let judgment run down as waters, as righteousness, as a mighty stream. And that's what this word is doing. This word is flowing like a mighty stream, bringing what? Nourishment to our body. 
That's what keep us hydrated. See what I'm saying? You don't see us out there with dry and cracked lips or where they bleeding because your body, they're hydrated. That's these people out here in the world that don't have this truth. They're the ones that are dehydrated. Lips are all white like they've been eating powdered donuts for three days or they didn't dip their lips in a bowl of flour. That's how they looking at here. Or like Tyrone the crackhead off of Dave Chappelle. Remember how white his lips was? Or like Ashy Larry off of Dave Chappelle. Why? Because these people don't have no nourishment in their body. They, they malnourished. They dehydrated. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me see something. Let me see here. Give me the, get another precept right quick. Dealing with uh, dryness. I got to go to Ezekiel chapter 37. Dealing with the dry bones. This is Ezekiel chapter 37. And I'm going to start at verse. Uh, let me see verse 37. Chapter 37. I'm starting at verse 1. It says, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And that's what we flow in, the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shot. When you see us out there on the highways and byways, or you see us doing videos like that, the Lord had carried us out through his spirit. See what I'm saying? It said, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Talking about what? You could correlate that with modern day America. See what I'm saying? Even though it's talking about ancient Canaan, but this is dealing with America, modern day America, which is ancient Canaan. See what I'm saying? It says, uh, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many. It says, uh, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. That that's what you see out here. When you look at Israelites, the Negroes, Latino, Native American, whether they male or female, you look at them, they're, they're dry bones. They have no nourishment. See what I'm saying? They, they, they dying of dehydration. They're going to have a heat stroke. You see what I'm saying? When you see these women out here with orange sherbet hair and purple Barney dinosaur color hair, they're, they're, they're a dry bone. When you see them with these big old eyelashes like snow sleds, you know what I'm saying? They're dry bones. When you see these men out here with skinny jeans so tight, they ain't got no choice to switch. And you know what I'm saying? They be sagging down to their knees because they ain't got no room in them skinny jeans. Those are dry bones. See what I'm saying? When you see them wearing onks around their neck, you know what I'm saying? The symbol for Tammuz. You know what I'm saying? Those are dry bones. When you see them praying to Hotep, thinking they in a, in a conscious movement, they're a dry bone. America is that valley of dry bone. This is a dry and thirsty land. It says, uh, verse 3, Ezekiel 37 and 3, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? You know what I'm saying? That's the Lord asking about Israel. Can these bones live? That's like a rhetorical question. The Lord knows that one third is going to live, but two thirds got to be destroyed. It says, And I answer, O Lord, thou knowest. That's right. And again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And that's what we out there doing. See what I'm saying? When we out there prophesying on the highways and byways and doing these, what brothers call electronic epistles, we out there prophesying to the dry bone. If you don't know that you're an Israelite, you're a dry bone. If you don't know the Lord's name, you're a dry bone. Even if you know you're an Israelite. If you're calling on Yah or Jah or a higher shire higher, you still a dry bone. You don't have the nourishment. You know what I'm saying? You don't have marrow in your bones because it's dry. It's dried up and, and withered away. You have no cartilage in your bone. It's gone. See what I'm saying? It says, uh, verse 5, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, unto these bones, behold, no, 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 back in verse four, back in verse four, finish that out. It said, and again he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And that's what we're telling you, Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. Hear the word of the Lord. Come back to your power. Come back to your nationality. Knowing who you are. Knowing who the Heavenly Father is. 
call upon the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai and stop calling upon the name of Jesus Christ. Or for you Latins, Jesus Christos. You know what I'm saying? Quit calling on Guadalupe or Santa Maria. Call back on Yahweh by Shema Shai, the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. See what I'm saying? Verse 5, thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Which is what? Deny wisdom and understanding of this word. That's what the Lord blew into us. He blew what? Breath into us. Into our nostrils to where now we stand up on our feet. Like the Spirit said, the, the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim shot enter into me, and I stood up on, in my, on my feet. Roughly paraphrasing. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, uh, let me, matter of fact, it's in Ezekiel, I get it. Let me get it right quick. Ezekiel, let me go to it right quick. Yep, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1, and it says, and he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And how did that happen? Through the internet. See what I'm saying? A lot of us didn't go to One West. A lot of us didn't grow up in New York. A lot of us, when the Lord spoke to us, it was through the what? Through the internet, through the YouTube. See what I'm saying? When we heard the words that Apostle Dehar was, was speaking to us through the Spirit of the Power, you how about Shimei was shot? I don't care if you don't think you know Job 9 24, go out there and preach his word. Hey, the Spirit entered into us, we listened, and we stood up on our feet. That's why you see us now, out there on the highways and byways teaching this word. See what I'm saying? The Lord gave us that cup of cold water, you know what I'm saying, which nourished our body. Now we hydrated. We was dehydrated because we was out there in the world. Now we hydrated. We got that spiritual hydration. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Apostle Ramlod series uh, used to be called, spiritual hydration. You know? And it says, verse 6, And I will lay sinews upon you and, and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with the skin and put breath in you and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. That represents what? Your nationality, knowing who you are, this truth, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That, that's the Lord putting skin upon that, on our bones. You know what I'm saying? Giving us nourishment, making our skin healthy, and not dry and brittle and cracked, and not ashy and scarred up. Like a lot of these people out here in this world, man. Spiritually, their skin cracking. It's bleeding. You see what I'm saying? It's dehydrated. Because they don't have the nourishment of Yahweh by Shema was shot. See what I'm saying? So going back to uh, Psalms 63, it says, Oh Yahweh, Yahweh by Shema was shot, thou art my power. Early will I seek thee. Meaning what? All hell ain't broke loose yet. So we seeking the Lord early. You know what I'm saying? Say, so, uh, Seek him early while the evil days draw nigh. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, My soul thirsted for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. So ain't no truth here in America. All the truth is you're going to find is what? Uh, on the internet or the brothers you see out there on the highways and byways. But as a whole, there's no truth here in America. Everywhere you turn, there's a church on every corner teaching you what? False doctrine. Esau is give, giving you a cup of dirt to drink. He's not giving you water, which is everlasting life. Like Yahweh Shai told us, he that drinketh of this water should never thirst again. You see what I'm saying? Out of your spirit is going to flow what? Springs, rivers of living water. Meaning you're going to be constantly hydrated. The water you have by Shema was shot for his word, man. You see what I'm saying? We don't have to worry about being dehydrated or dying of a heat stroke because we don't have his word. We got the word. See what I'm saying? This is our shade when it's hot outside. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually. See what I'm saying? This is our water that the Lord gives to us, man. You see what I'm saying? 
So I pray this lesson was edifying. With that, I want to say a bar, 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 shalom.